This video covers how to register a custom component in Builder with Next.js. When you register a custom component, you're making your component available as a drag and drop component in Builder's UI. This way, non-coding teammates can use and reuse them. This video covers creating your custom component, registering it in your code, and then using it in Builder. I'm using a Next.js app that I've already integrated and that's running locally. If you'd like the code that I'm starting out with, check out the Next.js tab in the Builder Integrating Pages documentation or the Developer Quick Start. We also have a video in those docs, just like this one, that shows you how to get to the point that I'm starting out from here. Start by adding a couple of imports to the file where you plan to register your component. I'm going to register my component in the catch-all route I have set up here. Let's import Builder and Dynamic from Next.js. Next, register your component. If you're using the builder example code, you can put the snippet between get static paths and the page export. Here, register component uses Next.js dynamic to register a heading component with two inputs, name and type, and an icon. We recommend using an icon because that's what appears in the visual editor for your users, and that's what they'll actually drag and drop. Next, let's create our component. I'm creating a components directory, and inside I'll put a minimal heading component that returns an H1. Head over to Builder's content section and open a page. Here, I have a basic page from the Integrating Pages tutorial. Go to the Insert tab and open the Custom Components section. Here's our custom component that we can drag in and edit. I'll just say, hello, then publish and check it out on localhost. By the way, sometimes you might have to refresh. Here it is.